Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be showing off the enhanced user interface mod for Civ 5 and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys what it adds, uh, what it changes, how to get around everything um, so you can decide if you want to get it for yourself and when you do you can kind of understand what's going on and what's changed. So really the biggest thing about the enhanced UI is that it adds a lot more information um, to the game that you can find normally with the normal UI, but it makes it a lot more readily available. Um, at first glance, you might say, wow, there's a lot of stuff on the screen. It seems really cluttered. Um, but when you start a game from scratch, there's almost nothing. So as you progress in the game, you'll get more and more information. And um, like I said, all this information is you can find it um, without the enhanced user interface, it's just a lot more difficult to. So let's get into the first thing. Um, probably the most useful thing for me is um, this brand new kind of leaderboard uh, score list on the right here. Um, and uh, yeah, when you hover over a sieve, it will tell you a ton of information about that sieve. Um, so this is me, Brunei. Um, and um, yeah, so if we hover over let's say Alexander for example we can see how many technologies he has um, exactly what uh, social policies he's gone down um, we can see what wonders he's built how much money he's making per turn and with the AI you can also see like right off the bat um, you know what they like about you what they dislike about you a lot of this stuff can be found in the um, user screen like uh, like you can see how much gold they're making, what luxury resources they have, and if you scroll over this, you can see their status with you. Um, but the enhanced UI just allows you to just see very, very quickly what sort of information uh, each Civ is dealing with. So um, you can, and also it's interesting to see how many technologies they have because normally you have to go in like the victory progress or something to do to find that, or have it be a function of uh, literacy. Um, but yeah, that's really helpful. You can see really quickly what wonders everybody has. Um, so yeah, there you go. And then right under that, we've got all the city states in the game, and you can quickly see what city states your allies with. So if you're trying to win a dim, uh, diplomatic victory and you just want to buy up all the city states, instead of looking around the map for every city state to buy, you can just go down this uh, list and just buy city state after city state. Um, you can also quickly see on a, at a glance if you're uh, protecting them what quests every single city state in the game wants. So if you really want to see really quickly what's, what city state uh, has better gold gifts, so you can give them a thousand gold and have it be extra effective, you can just scroll down and instantly see who is getting more money from gold. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy Kathmandu. So um, yeah, makes it a lot easier to manage your city states, um, which is nice. Okay, so we'll head over to the left side and we're going to look at the city screen. So the city screen allows you to instantly at a glance see what size all your cities are at, um, what they're producing, how long until that thing is produced, and this purple number here is how long until they have a border growth. Um, if your border growth is negative, that means that you have already completely expanded. Um, and when you hover over that, you can see also the exact amount of culture that that city is making um, which is pretty interesting you can also see their exact production at a glance and you can see their food at a glance so you can really really keep track of your cities without going you know across the map and like clicking on your cities and hovering over the stuff there you can do it all in one click from this screen over here also these icons here of these luxury resources are the luxury resources that your city would like to go into we love the king day um, and I don't even I think yeah you have to click on the city and look there to find that normally um, another great thing is instead of having to click on a city to see what everybody's working you can just hover over okay then you can see everything that your city's working um, the orange tiles are the city what, what the city owns um, so yeah you can instantly have a grasp on what what tile yields your cities are making without having to click on it so really the enhanced UI just reduces the number of clicks that you have to do so I can just look at all my different cities and see what everything's doing without actually having to click on them which is really nice next we'll go ahead and look at the unit screen um, basically this is just every single unit that you have and you can just quickly 
see everything about them. So I've got some random privateer off in this over here. I don't even know I had this, but you know, I can just scroll up my unit list and click on it. And um, yeah, it has. It shows you how much unit, uh, how much movement they have. Uh, you can see everybody's uh, enhancements. Uh, sorry, uh, promotions at a glance. Their experience and stuff. So that's really helpful. Um, yeah, that's basically it for the unit screen. Um, and then really quickly, I'll take a take this time to talk about how the enhanced UI is modular. So you can turn off anything you want. Let's say you're like, okay, I don't want to have all my units over there. That's too cluttered. You can just turn that off. All right, now it's gone. You can turn off the city list. Bam, that's gone. Now the left side of your screen is clear again. So if you thought that was too cluttered and you didn't really care to see your cities and your units right there, now it's gone, and then you can just bring it right back. Same with the diplomacy list. You can take that gone if you want. So th you can really just customize this UI for whatever your suits your play style. Um, and... Uh, yeah. Um, okay. So let's say let's see how this helps you in war, uh, for example. So let's say I declare war on Charlemagne. Um, first off, you'll notice that all enemy units have highlight are highlighted in red. Um, at least I'm. I think that's a change. But um, yeah. So um, yeah. That's basically the biggest change. Also, if you hover over a unit, you can see its combat strength, and you can see some of its upgrades if you can decipher what those mean. Um, and then, yeah, it makes war, warring a little bit easier. Um, yeah. Uh, and then let's look at our yields up here, because the yields are slightly uh, rearranged. So we've got science in the top left, and if you hover over the science, you can see everything. I think this happens in the normal game, too. Um, and then you can instantly see what you're progressing against. So you don't actually have to have this science thing here. You can uh, have the research info not be there. Um, I just like keeping it there because I like having a bigger picture of what I'm researching currently. Um, you've got your social, uh, sorry, your culture here, and right next to it is how many turns until your next social policy, uh, which is nice. So you can instant, you can always see like if it if this says zero or a negative number, that means you can just get your social policy that turn immediately instead of having to wait till next turn where it asks you to do it. Uh, here you've got your faith, um, and then here is your great. Uh, person generator and it will tell you what your next great person is going to be how long until you get it and what city is going to get it um, happiness I yeah has a lot of stuff on it so happiness will tell you all the luxury resources that you have all the luxury resources that you could have as you can see mountain island has a red on the gems that means that I have gems on mountain island but I did, forgot to uh, work those gems so that reminds me to go work those gems um, and it also tells you r quickly at a, uh, at a glance everything that you're exporting to other civilizations and everything that other civilizations have so you can instantly say oh somebody has um, somebody has two uh, of a luxury resource let me just go ahead and, and get one of those um, and then it has how many turns it is into your next golden age right next to it and then you've got your money over here and then while when you click on your money you can also see at a glance how much money everybody else in the game is making um, your resources are all over here, and you can see also when you uh, hover over them um, how many resources are coming from every single city and exactly how many you're using and what you're using everything on. So if you're like, if you've got negative coal for some reason, you have absolutely no idea why, you can just go over here and be like, okay, I'm using coal on this. Um, and then culture, uh, sorry, tourism hasn't really changed. There's not much different there. Uh, Actually, there's nothing different there. Um, but the trade units, instead of going into the trade unit screen and looking at this mess of a UI, you can just instantly see, okay, this is all my trade routes that are being sent. Um, yeah, that is about it. So, yeah, the enhanced UI just reduces the amount of clicks that you have to do, um, helps you to remember things that are going on, and for me, the most important thing is you can always just at a glance see all this really good information that normally you would have to go clicking for. Like, I don't even know where the, uh, to find the social policies that people have, uh, have done, you have to go into... Um, I don't know, it's like culture, culture, over, a diplomacy overview, I think it is, and that's some, some button over here that you have to find, maybe you have to like press function keys until you open it up, I don't even know what this is, so all this, infor like diplomacy interview, if you like, oh, it's not even shown there, yeah, I, I don't even, global, global politics, 
politics yeah here we go you would have to go into diplomacy overview and then click on global politics to see what social policies everybody has so this means that it is the game does tell you what policies everybody has but I, I, I've played this game for 700 hours and I had to look for this and instead I can just go right here and it's in purple it's great um, you can see everything at a glance. So, yep, that's the Enhanced UI. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to have a link to the website to download it in the description. Um, this is not really a guide on how to download it, but how to download it is you take the, um, you download it, and then you just drag the folder into your DLC folder, and then you just launch the game. You can do this. The, the UI is uh, compatible with everything. You can play it single player. You can play it multiplayer. You can play it with any mod that Civ Five has ever added. Honestly. The more mods you add and the more um, stuff there is on the screen, you know, the more this helps condense it. So, yeah.